This is our last part or last method, superposition principle. To use this method, there is a, a prior condition. The circuit must be linear. If a linear circuit has more than one sources, either current source or voltage source, the circuit can be analyzed by considering source one by one. That means each time we can consider only one source. And then next time we consider a, a different source. Uh, that means each time we need to remove other sources just to keep one. Now here, there is a golden rule, how to remove sources. To remove voltage source, you need to replace the voltage source by shorting circuit. I put a yeah, shorting circuit. Uh, when you have a voltage source, you need to remove this voltage source. You need to short that part. If it is a current source, to remove a current source, you need to keep terminal open. You take, take the current source off and keep that part open. Those two are very important, how to remove a source. So the total response is a sum of all individual responses. Now, when you apply a voltage source, you have a certain response. When you apply a current source, you have a certain response. And in the end, you need to put all responses together as the final result. Actually, this principle is also used in control system. Uh, as my background actually is a control, is a process control. Uh, for process control, we can use a uh, superposition principle. It's the same thing. Here, this condition actually is the same as there. I said so here, I said the prior condition you can use a superposition principle is a circuit that must be linear. Now, if a circuit contain any nonlinear element, it doesn't work. The superposition principle doesn't work. This, this is the same thing. Um, there is no other choice. I, uh, I can only give you more ideas by one example to show how we can make use of a superposition principle to analyze uh, a circuit. I can't uh, jump this uh, example, because uh, this is a way to learn superposition principle. Uh, in this uh, example, our task is uh, to find out what is the current I here? What is the current I? I need uh, to uh, through this uh, 2 uh, resistor uh, using superposition principle. If you look at this uh, circuit, um, obviously, we can uh, analyze this circuit by different way. We can use a superposition. We can use a node voltage method. We can use a, a voltage current source conversion. We we can do. But in this example, I show you how we can make use of the superposition principle. Now we can work out overall current I, oh, there's a current through this resistor in three steps. Step one, considering voltage source only. Step two, considering current source only. Step three, you put those two results together. But if we consider in step one, if we consider voltage source, what we need to do, we need to remove this current source. To remove this current source, you remember what we do, just uh, simply take this off, keep open. So what we left is this. 
right? We take this uh, current source off to keep uh, this uh, part open. Now our task is to find out what is the current here. Let's say this is the I1. Now to uh, the voltage source, the overall resistance, if we look from uh, this end, is six ohm plus three in parallel two plus four. Uh, I use uh, this. Right. Again, this uh, six there, you have a three in parallel two plus four. So you can easily work out this is the eight. So the overall I uh, group all together, this is a eight ohm. Uh, if I put uh, here, group all together, this is eight ohm. So now we can work out the current from a current uh, source. That means here, we can work out the current here. That is easy. I know this is 120. Overall, this is eight. I just uh, need uh, what I need uh, to do is 120. Actually, here already we work out this eight. Uh, I just uh, simply use eight. This is uh, 15. Uh, so I work out here this 15. Uh, and then what we need uh, to do, we need to find out what is uh, I1. Now we can make use of uh, current divider. Uh, this current divide into two parts. There's uh, one part here, one part there. If you remember, how can we uh, make use of a uh, uh, current divider? Uh, you need the uh, overall current is uh, 15. You times opposite times uh, three divided by overall. Overall is uh, three plus two plus four. That is uh, six. So now I can work out this is a five i. So in this case, I work out this i one equals five i. That is the first step. The second step, remove voltage source and work out i. If we remove a voltage source, that means we take this voltage source off and keep this short short circuit. Now we have uh, only one uh, part, only this uh, current source left, right? You have a current. Now let's consider how can we work out the current here. What we need uh, to do is uh, this current. So then let's say this is uh, I2, this uh, second, uh, second part. Right, uh, let's uh, consider the left, those are three resistors. If I consider those are three, I group those are three together. Uh, actually, those two is in parallel, three in parallel six plus two. So that is uh, three resistors are grouped together. Now you can work out three, six in parallel. Uh, if I do again, this is uh, six times three divided by, six plus three uh, equal 18 divided by nine equals two. So two plus two is a four. So if I group those three together, this is a four ohm. That is quite a simple. I use a single one, this is a four ohm resistor. Now the next is uh, very simple. This is a four, that is a four. That means uh, the here is a tick uh, half. Uh, the originally you have a current, only one current there. Now you separate into two. One is this path, one is uh, that path. So do notice here, this current would go up, go that way. So now I work out, I already I work out, this is uh, six. That is a six line. Right. That is a six line. Now step three, I add together. So six plus five, and first step, we work out is five, now is six, this is 11. Uh, I'll give you an exercise. For the same circuit, if you use a node voltage method, you can find out what is I. You will find out this I is exactly the same as 11. Uh, 
Uh, all right, and the next. All following is an example and a summary. Uh, just uh, finish off here a question. Can we use superposition principle to work out uh, power uh, dissipated? The answer is no, because power is not a linear function of either voltage or current as indicated by power equals V squared divided by R or I squared times R. Uh, we give uh, this example to synchronize the session. Okay, we finish uh, off part uh, part five. This is uh, quite long. This part. So next time we will start uh, uh, sensor electronics part. <laughs>